Welcome to my crazy life as a first generation female farmer, the Chronicles of Kayla. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the buddy seat. I'm just equally frustrated with myself. I'm just equally frustrated with my own self. Like, it is what it is. It's just frustrating. I just wanted to get this done. <sighs> it's always something, guys. Always something. Now it's loading. Whoop, whoop. Peep out my uh, Bailey Beef Co. <laughs> Ashley and Austin gave it to us for Christmas. Um, they are shipping beef now. So if you're not local to our area, you can find them and follow them on all socials. I'll link all that below for y'all. But uh, they are starting to ship their Wagyu influenced beef. So go check them out and uh, help saw support a local farm family. Yes. Are you upset because mommy's going to go to work? You get me all to yourself in a few days, okay? You just want to tell everybody hi. Okay, I'm going to go. I'll be back in a little bit. Don't be so sad. I'll be back. I'll be back. You're so deprived. Can you tell everybody hi? Cassie, tell everybody hi. Okay, that's saving. Leaving that there. Leaving that there. Have you seen, like, don't, don't mind my kitchen table. It's a mess. So the track skid loader's got some issues going on with its planetarium. Um, it's the roller part that makes it go. So we have to pull that off. But in the moment, it's kind of like stuck in, it won't roll. So we're gonna have to drag it up. Oh, unlock here. what he wants done here. He's gone to get the Massey to drag me forward. I think that's the plan. It's always something. Just the way life goes. So we did end up selling the 6145. We did buy the 5S. This isn't ideal how we would like to have our setup, but it is what it is. Um, part of farming is learning to make adjustments and do with what you have when you have it. Uh, until it got really nasty and muddy and it started raining and frosting and whatnot, we were feeding out in the lot, just on the ground. But now we created that bunk line here where the cats can come in and eat and hopefully get a better gain and ration and less bacteria and all the stuff that comes with, you know, feeding calves in a feedlot type setting. This, this feed is hot. It's made up of corn silage. It's made up, he's been putting just a little bit of that uh, shelled corn that we took off the field here. I guess we finished that up yesterday. And then he's got some alfalfa hay in there, a little bit of straw to add just some fodder to it and then he's got um, Perina steak maker which is a added protein uh, we're just kind of playing with the numbers in our ration at the moment to see what we need and add um, we're waiting on those uh, total ration values to come back since we added the corn into it Let's see if there's anything else exciting going on not not really um, it's pretty much the same old same old every single day feed gals check gals make sure everybody's got water 
um, making sure I'm eating, taking, you know, as breaks as needed, resting as much as possible. Jason's been doing some hay deliveries and just kind of getting things lined out. They tire really easy these days, like super easy. also got to feed for Brian, so they're going on vacation, which in turn, whenever, you know, uh, we go to farm show, Brian will be here to help, but also, like, if we need help, you know, they, they're the first ones kind of to come and help as needed. It's what friends do. It's what we do. Everybody tries to pitch in, especially right now. The sun feels so nice. over to the cows. We're actually going to move them across the, the road today because we need to get them back across the creek. Ah, uh, hold on one second.
What are you doing, Apple? That's her baby right there. Okay, so she is the daughter of this green tag that was right up here. And this little 206 is the daughter of 155. So these are sisters, 055 and 206. And there should be another one out here, which is 105. Hmm, it might have been a steer. I'll have to look. We do keep, try to keep back some of our best lineage that we have. This is old mama girl. She was a three in one bot from the Central States last year. Don't even start with me, 21. She can be kind of a handful. I just thought this would be something different since it's daylight. You guys can come and see the cows. I don't always get to see them these days, so. Everybody's got big pregnant bellies. Woo, say, goose. Hi, woos. You want some booty scratches today? Booty scratches. What about belly scratches? You need a belly scratched? You big baby. Lucy's one of the very beginnings. Yeah, aren't you? You're special, aren't you, Luce? She even got a customary Lucy tag. It's a Richie tag. Yes, Lucy. Ain't that right, big girl? She started it all. Look at this fluff on your hair. Look at this fro you got growing. Lucy. Not all of them have names and not all of them have pretty custom tags. Um, there's a handful of them out here that's got custom like name tags, I would say, like Smoke Cow does. Um, 626 Stitch has one. Um, eight. We use the Richie tags. They are never fading. They're engraved, engravable. Um, they're really nice. We prefer them. Hi, honey. She's got an engraved tag. She's $1.99. <laughs> These girls, they just feel good. Wherever Rosie's at, she has an engraved tag. I don't know if she'll let me. This is Rosie right here. She's got an engraved forever tag. Number 12. She's one of our originals too. Hi, Rosie. Hi, sweetheart. Can you see her tag? Anyway, they're Richie tags. We really like them. We have the black and white ones. And the back of their ear tags actually have our branded logo on it. The JKW on the back. She's not gonna flop her ear forward. We have pretty good young herd, surprisingly. I better go catch my ride. He's liable to leave me at the cows. That's what happens when I get to talking. We have several daughters and granddaughters out here. And uh, we'll have our first set of Black Hereford um, bull calves this spring. He'll be coming probably in the next couple weeks. He's going to go off and freaking leave me. He knows I can't keep up with him. He knows. He just forgets. Hi, Mama. Bye, ladies. a lovely corn pile. <laughs> um, we are clearly not set up to have, you know, storage for corn at all, and we're hoping to feed it pretty quickly. Uh, we've got it right here with the silage pit, so he's been adding 
some corn into the feed ration. So I have no idea how many bushels it truly made. Um, I'll ask Jason, he might know. I need to run home and grab my coat. Um, the plan, the plans this afternoon changed. I'm actually going to do a little bit of choring here at the shop. And uh, Jason went ahead and went and ran some errands without me. And then uh, the kids will be coming home off the bus. Jay and I will do whatever tonight. She wanted chili yesterday, so I don't know if that's still gonna be the game plan. If she wants me to make chili for supper tonight for her or if we'll snack or something. We'll figure it out. But I'm gonna walk. It's not overly cold today. I mean, it's cold. It's winter time, guys. It's winter. Um, it's definitely not just hoodie weather, though. I really need my jacket. Because I got be getting sick. Four days till surgery. Four days. Um, and so far, so feel pretty good. I get really wind run down, winded. Um, my memory's not always the best. <laughs> but they said that was just some of the meds I was on. And it will, that will kind of shake out. Um, just do what I can. No lifting, obviously, um, after Monday. <laughs> but just kind of being thankful for, you know, being able to do the stuff that I'm still able to do. Tomorrow will be a very, it'll be a long day for me for sure because we got to break this skid loader down and Jason will more than likely need help with that. So he did get it all, the tracks all washed out and stuff today and he'll, he'll put it in the shop later. I'm a guessing, I'm a guessing. So I'll finish doing this and then get myself lined out. That's a big bucket. What you gonna do with that? Made for a big guy. <laughs> you sure it's gonna fit the skid loader? It's a snow bucket, but it's gonna be a silage bucket. A silage bucket. And he told me I could move a bunch of other stuff over too. Oh yeah? Are you prepared for a snowstorm? I will be. Okay, <laughs> what else did you get? Some, some Ooh, those are nice. And they're five foot wide, four foot long. Good deal. Okay. All right, well, now you gotta get the skid loader fixed. <laughs>